Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back here with another video today. Um, this one again goes out to all those Mac users out there. And I guess you could say PC um, if you're really having trouble with that. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the KS uh, KSE, which is Coder Save Editor, working on a Mac. Now, many people say you really can't do it um, because it's just there's so many different locations for the saves and it screws everything up but I'll show you guys how to fix that um, so the KSE is a bit glitchy I guess you could say with the um, uh, Mac version since it's you know for a PC but I will show you guys how to do all of this the best I can so first what you're going to want to do is download the KSE 3.3.3 um, now the 3.3.4 and 0.5 are not really good for the Mac because Fair Strides has made um, he made them I mean he's a great modern all but they require these three different DLLs which um, prevent you from really using the KSE to its full potential I guess it, it just won't work so I will show you guys how to do this with 3.3.3 .3. so first what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download the KSE editor here Alright, now once you do that, um, it may take a couple seconds, it doesn't matter. So, once you do that, you'll have these three files. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is get Wineskin Winery. If you guys don't have that, I'll link that down in the description. So go ahead and just do whatever engine, name it KSE or whatever you want. Oops, I already had a KSE app. Um, I just went ahead and deleted that, so go ahead and name it KSE. Now it may take just a couple of seconds while Wine is creating the um, wrapper. Oh, sorry, I had to yawn there. I'm a bit tired. We've had testing all last week and this week. But anyways, let's go ahead and get um, down to this. So Wine will be saying this, that it's um, configuring blah blah blah. Doesn't matter. Well, it does, I guess. But um, yeah, we'll just keep it like this uh eventually <laughs> all right there we go now this window is going to pop up and ask you if you want to view it in in wine um or in finder or just say okay but i'd just go ahead and view it in finder that way you don't have to search for it let's go ahead and view that you can exit out of wineskin winery now what you're going to do is go ahead and open kse and you're going to go to advance tools and registry editor now if you guys saw my coder tools video this is going to be exactly the same so what you're going to want to do is go to H key local machine highlight software click new key Lucas Arts this is for KOTOR 2 by the way Lucas Arts and new key KOTOR 2 now once you do that you're going to go ahead and go with a new string value title it path double click on this and then you're going to um, paste in the path of your game now I wrote it down in here um, these are the paths of most games now you have to specifically specifically find your path but once you paste it um, all of these slashes are going to be like this you don't want them like that so you're going to have to change them like I did to this and you're also going to have to add the Z with the colon right here in the front so once you do that, go ahead and copy it. Um, then you can hide pages or whatever you typed in, doesn't matter. And then you're going to go ahead and paste it there. Click OK. And now it should be saved. So once you're done with that, go ahead and exit out. Wine skin, advance, or whatever will be here. Go ahead and go to install software. Choose setup executable. Now you're going to go ahead and find KSC333. Go ahead and move that out of the way. It doesn't matter. It just gets annoying to me. So now KSE will open up like this. The first time you open up, it's always just a bit slow. But as you can see here, we have all of the Sith Lord save games. Now with Knights of the Old Republic 1, which is the thing that most people have had trouble with, um, there's several things that you have to do to get it to work so first thing that you want to go ahead and do is find Knights of the Old Republic in this um, location I will show you now 
So you go to users, whichever user you are, library, application support, Knights of the Old Republic, and then you'll see your saves here. Now for some other people, it's in documents. Um, I'm not sure why it's there. I guess it's um, how some people install the game or something. Or you just go ahead and find Knights of the Old Republic wherever it is. Now if you're in Steam or the Mac App Store version, I'm not really sure if this works for the Mac App Store version, but I could be wrong. It probably does. Um, so you're going to go ahead and find your coder data, which for me is located in this directory. Sorry, I don't, I can't go back on this because I have a an alias there, but it's this location. And so once you um, find that location, go ahead and open this, and then you're going to drag your saves into that location. Now make sure you always back up your saves. Like I have mine saved. Um, in my mods folder, not that it matters, um, but just go ahead and save in someplace safe. So now once you do that, what you're going to ahead and go and do is right click this, change path for Knights of the Old Republic, and now you're going to find the path of your coder data. So for me, you go into this slash, users, whatever user you are, and since mine is in Steam, I'm going to go library application support and then go down to steam now you don't want to go to the knights of the old republic up here forget about that so you go steam steam apps common star wars kotor knights of the old republic dot app contents and then click on coder data now you click ok now it'll take a couple seconds to register but once you do Boom, there's all your saves. Now you have to remember which save slot it is. Um, it sadly doesn't save the actual name of the um, save game. But if you click on it, um, right here, click the plus, it'll tell you the save game name right there. So now once you're in here, you can change a ton of things. But you have to be careful because um, KSE is a bit glitchy. So it, I mean, it depends on what you do. Um, so you can see here that you can't edit um, these two things, but you can edit your name, you know, your gender. I wouldn't um, go with gender both, other, or none. I don't know what those do. Those could really probably mess up your game. And with the appearance, I'd be careful changing this because I don't know if you can actually change it to all these aliens. And if you can, your game might crash. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. But then you can change your portrait, um, your sound set. I don't know what sound sets are. I wouldn't mess with these, honestly. Um, you can change your attributes to whatever you want. Um, your current party members, all that. Um, only two can be selected as it states here. And then your NPCs, you can change their stats. Say you want to change Kandaris's strength, blah, blah, blah. You can do that. Globals, don't mess with these, whatever you do. Um, you can change your time play, whether you have cheats used or not, hit points, all that kind of stuff. Um, your class, you can change up your class stats, um, like what level you are, and then Jedi Consular, you can do that too. And Force Powers, if you just click on Force Powers, you can um, all this will show up, and then you can go ahead and add the powers. Now, I'm not going to do that because I don't really want to add any powers right now, but then again, if you click the plus, then you can select the power and you can remove it and then you have to click commit changes once you're done with it and that saves um, your save game thingy yeah and you can change the experience whether or not that um, skills and then for feats you can do the same thing as you did for powers as you can see here and then you can add all of those it it doesn't matter I mean there's just that there I guess and then you can remove them from here and the last thing here, um, well, other than credits and party XP, don't change your inventory because I've heard that the inventory, if you switch out things or add in things, it gets really glitchy and will crash your game um, in certain situations. Now, I don't know those situations, but that's just from what I've heard. And quest, you can add or remove quest. Um, well, uh, yeah. So I wouldn't really like. I don't know. I mean, quest is just... It, I don't know. Anyways, I wouldn't mess with the quest. And so yeah, the same... Um, all that works for the Sith Lords also. Now, 
The one thing about this is I haven't found a way to fix this yet. But once you exit out, um, this window will pop up. Blah, blah, blah. Click OK. Cancel. Go ahead and exit out. And then you can quit Wineskin. But once you do that, every time that you go into um, KSE again, you have to keep reinstalling the um, save game editor. I mean, it doesn't affect it as long as you kept those paths in the um, uh, as long as you kept the TSL path in the registry editor, then it'll still be there. The only thing is, if you do the coder one um, path, it doesn't really work on the registry editor. I'm not sure as to the reason to that. Um, if you guys know how to fix that, go ahead and tell me. But until then, you have to just keep um, changing the path, copy and pasting it. Um, so yeah, that's this video. I hope it was helpful. If you need any questions about this or any other coder tools that you want um, to work or getting mods or anything like that, although I already made a video for that. But if you need a specific install instructions for anything, go ahead and ask me if you're on the Mac, at least. I mean, for the PC, some of it retains the same but i'm here to mostly help out the mac players um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in my next one thank you